It's Matt New Haven Mother Rarity here. So, no, this is not an unboxing per se. I did not uh, buy anything on Amazon. I went to the flea market today. I um, <clears throat> wanted to get some tr more train stuff. I also got this, bo this box was sitting there. It's all Bachman Easy Track. Nickel silver. Now, I don't understand how it got green like that. Put the light on. But uh, I'm going to clean it. Whatever it is, I'll clean it. Um, it's like a sticky substance or something on it. I don't know. Then a greenish. Bunch of straights. Curves. Track re-railer, power strip thing, more straights, more curves. I make a nice <clears throat> oval. Anyway, so got that today. And I got some cars, freight cars. So it's roundhouse products. Take a look at this um, way the box is. You know, SMT Mainline mentions it on his uh, channel there that he likes how the boxes look. They are really unique, all colored and everything. And, you know, real nice looking versus what IHC did here. You know, and then this kit car here. So anyway, take a look at this. It is a, <clears throat> I guess it's a roundhouse product. It was a kit at one time. It's got Katie's on it. That one's missing a spring. And I have a spring in a package that I got um, for the couplers that I use. And there's the other side. That's green foam from that. This is a Vermont Railway heavily weathered. Um, boxcar. Whoever did the weathering did actually a pretty good job. Um, but yeah, it's got all the details and stuff on it. It's got plastic wheels, of course, and they're not really that free rolling. Um, they're kind of stiff. So we have to check the uh, journals over here, the uh, bearings, and. Um, See if there's anything in them. Because it looks like that truck there has been painted. So maybe something got inside. I don't know. It's kind of also funny. This one's... Uh, no, that's brown. Okay. It's more brownish. Yeah. See how it runs. That's a nice car. I got, I got tons of box cars. Here's another one. It's an IHC, uh, International Hobby Corp. Um, I have that one, but not P, not the P, Peabody uh, car. Obviously, that's a Tyco type caboose. IHC bought out all the Tyco tooling, and then uh, Model Power took it over, and then MRC has it and then they sold it to Lionel which that was a dumb idea in my opinion because they no just absolutely not anyway uh so it's a western pacific rides like a feather uh box car this is here built December 1962 so that's what it would have been like in the 60s um, I got another car here. This is by Train Miniature, which I found out, I looked online, It Train Miniature did kits all the way up until uh, Walther's took it over. So, I think it was Walther's, or, uh, um, yeah, Walther's, because Roundhouse is Athern now. And this is this is what Walters turned into. Free self-lubricated journals. 
RP25 wheel sets. Star car reefer hoppers. I like the way that this looked. It's an unbuilt kit. It's a um, producer's packing company. Packers of the Farm Best Beef, Garden City, Kansas. It's a reefer. It has the uh, walkway and little doors. Everything. I just opened it up. Inside is the frame and everything. And it's got a little baggie for the wheels and the uh, horn hook couplers and all that good stuff. So I plan on building that. And um, yeah, it's pretty much it. It's what I did today for Sunday. I figured, what the heck, you know, why not? I saw that track sitting there um, a couple weeks ago. Now, you ready for this? All this together, 20 bucks. So you figure 5, 10, 15, 20. Not bad. Not bad at all. But anyways, hopefully everyone's doing good. Take care. And uh, have a good day or night.